The Art of Loving. Eric Fromm explores love in all its aspects in this book. Not only the craziness and uh, lofty expectations of romantic love, but also brotherly love, love of God, love of parents, erotic love and love of self. Fromm sees love as an art and he suggests that mastery in the art of loving demands the same effort, the same mastery, the same knowledge as mastery in any other art. To me, the most interesting aspect of this book is Eric Fromm's theory that our main source of anxiety, of human anxiety, comes from our feeling of separateness from the world and love being a way for us to achieve a sense of oneness. And this book has a quite a harsh tone towards the modern western notion of love, um, romantic love, the type of love that you see in pop culture, in mainstream media, um, and this is what he calls immature love. Immature love is the kind of love that says I love you because I need you, while mature love would say I need you because I love you. In this immature notion of love, we take the fact that the intensity of infatuation, that we're being crazy about each other, as quote, proof of the intensity of our love, while it might only prove the degree of their preceding loneliness, the couple that is. So this sense of separateness that Fromm talks about, there's many ways humans try, try to overcome that in different types of societies. In some societies, sexual rituals and orgies give the tribe a temporary release from separateness. Um, after it, people can go on with their lives and they can pff, do whatever they need until the anxiety builds up again and it's time for another round. And in non-organistic societies instead, like Sweden here, we turn to drugs. Another way we try to protect ourselves from separateness is through conformity. If I'm like everyone else, then I'm protected from separateness. Love is the active concern for the life and the growth of that which we love. That's a nice quote. I really love this book, no pun intended. It's my first book on this topic and hence I might be easily impressed, but I was just taken aback with how seriously the subject was treated. And I guess my only complaint about this book is how short it is. It's only 104 pages and how much notes you have to take. It felt like every other line was worthy to write down in my notepad. If you're into psychology books, if you want to explore the topic of love, and if you love serious non-fiction books, then you can't go wrong with this book. Let me know your views on immature versus mature love down below. Press the like button because it helps me find more people. And come back next week for more reviews. Bjorn out.